Hey, it's Seb back here and welcome to this video. Now you'll see I've just logged into the video flow software. I want to do this video for JV so you understand how this software works, how it operates. And um, we'll also do a separate video that you'll be able to use on your bonus pages if you want to as well. So basically video flow, the reason we created it is we wanted to create a really complete solution that gave um, users the ability to do uh, a lot when it came to videos, a lot easier without a timeline needed it, something that's quick um, and easy to understand. So um, that's what we believe we've done. If you click create video and you get into your account, you'll see we've preloaded some templates. By the time you log in, you'll probably see many more templates than this. We're just loading templates in at the moment. And uh, you'll be able to select some of these templates. So for example, if you were to select just this one here, um, if you're running a demo, um, reviewing the software, you'll see it'll load up. And um, then we're in the canvas right here. So the canvas itself um, is a little bit similar to other softwares you've probably seen. The main primary part of it is actually this um, preview bar here. So you'll see here that as we move this bar, uh, the content changes within the video itself. And this bar allows you to decide on how long a particular clip is. So you can adjust the duration of a clip or how, um, and it'll show you how, low, how, how, how long in total the video duration is as well. Now this works in sync with this clip system. So instead of using a timeline, we use separate clips. So if you wanted to say, add a new scene to a video, uh, you might have say three or four scenes to your video. You would add one scene here, which might be 10 seconds long, for example. Then you would add another scene here, or you could actually duplicate that last scene if you wanted to. Then you'll see here, we automatically have welcome um, that is on this new scene. The new scene itself is five seconds long, and you can preview the scene by clicking preview scene. So you've got now two scenes with our video, the first one and the second. Now you might wonder why this um, rendering icon shows up. Basically so we can save time on rendering at the end of the video. We render the video while we're actually editing it. So it's done very quickly, It's you know you don't really notice it, uh, but it means that we're able to render videos a lot faster as a result of doing that. So you'll see here as well that we have a layers system that will work as well um, with this um, system here of editing. So um, each text, piece of text, uh, each video is a separate element within this layering system here. To select one of the elements that you want to edit, you can scroll through them. So you can actually select and you'll see here that I'm selecting. And if you want to actually go to the element and start editing it, you can double click and it'll come up with that element settings. Or if you wanted to, you could go inside of the video to the place where that element is and you can then select that element. Now, if you wanted to edit that element, you would just select it and then you could then retype it. If you wanted to downsize it, for example, you could make the size of it smaller. If you wanted to change the font of it, again, you can change the font of it, you can change where it is. And you'll see here that it's um, this element shows from four seconds until six seconds. So um, that's how you determine when an element will be available and when it'll leave. So if I was to put my pin outside of this section, you'll see the text has disappeared. Inside of it, the text has appeared. You can also do fade in, fade out effects with the text itself. And on your new scene, for example, if you wanted to, before your new scene comes in, you can cho choose from a range of different transitions. So you can choose open transitions, um, close wrappers, transitions, all sorts of different transitions here that will be featured uh, as this, uh, this clip goes into the next one. Now, if we were to start this new clip, for example, and we wanted to make this a new scene, let's say, for example, that this is a, um, a video to introduce a photographer. All right, so if we're introducing a photographer. It's got a cool wee effect. Uh, we can actually preview this scene right now so I can show you what the scene looks like. It's rendering it now, and um, now it's going to actually preview the scene. So this is what the scene looks like. And uh, this guy is really into his photography, John Doe. You'll see my text is kind of weird because I resized it. And then, um, then we continue walking. I could then adjust my text. I can move it within that object and make sure it's fixed. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to my new scene now so we know it's about photography. And what we're going to do is we're going to showcase some of um, you know, what, uh, what the photography is that we've done. So uh, let's go and do that. So select my new scene. Uh, and I might say, for example, um, my port. Whoops my portfolio so i'll put that in the center there and that's going to run for it's got here one um one second but i want it to run for more obviously so i'll run this scene for three seconds so this particular scene will run for three seconds 
I'll do a fade out effect um, to this text so it'll last for 0.2 seconds and um, I'll also put on a background um, here as well. So I might actually put on some sort of shape element uh, and um, we'll just go like this here. And now you'll see that the shape element is over the text. So I go over to my layers, I drag the shape underneath the text, I can now select the text here and I can change the color of the text so I make sure that it shows up well on this um, white background. So what we have now is we have our first scene, we have a transition that takes place, which is the closed wrap, and then we have our my portfolio being introduced. And um, then from there, I might then create another scene, which actually is going to showcase some of the, the portfolio of this particular person. I'm going to delete this text. So I've got a blank canvas. It's one second long right now by, automa uh, by on automatic. Um, and then I've got my other footage here. Now if I want to take more footage, I can just take more footage from the stock video footage that we have available here. I can scan through all of this, find the one that's going to be good for me. Uh, alternatively, I can do that with my image footage as well. Um, uh, or alternatively, if I wanted to, I could record my own footage, um, upload my own footage into here if I wanted to as well. Um, for this particular case, I'll take some of the footage we have here. So I might just say that, you know, um, John has done this footage here. So we're going to scale this. This is going to come in. And then I might add like a label to it. Um, so I might just uh, go like this. We could resize this if we wanted to. In this particular case, that doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, we could put in, we'll put in a square. Cool. We'll make this last for just a few seconds. The video clip itself, if we wanted to um, resize that length, it's 11 seconds right now, we can do that by resizing it. We could choose to crop it, we could choose to trim it. I'll trim the video so it's not 11 seconds because we don't need it to be 11 seconds for this scene. We'll just do five seconds, for example. Um, I can preview that trimmed version if I wanted to. I can adjust the speed of it so it speeds up, but I'll just save this and the video is going to be trimmed. So you can see here, it's really straightforward. Um, and then we've trimmed our, trimmed our video, so it only shows for five seconds now which means that my clip length can be decreased down to five seconds. So now my clip length is five seconds. I've got my um, background here. I'm gonna add some opacity to that background. And then I'll add some text to showcase that this particular, um, this particular uh, part of my portfolio. So I might say uh, Northern Lights. I can drag this in, Northern Lights, resize this layer here to go beyond it. There we are. Resize this back here as well. And there we go. So now that's going to come in. That text is going to come in. It will last for five seconds. And um, the back element will also last for five seconds. So they both are going to come in at the same time. To make that enlarge, I just drag this here. And then it's going to come in and say Northern Lights. Um, I'm also going to adjust these fade in, fade out. So it comes in for after about two seconds. This comes in after about 0.2 seconds as well. Um, I select the background as well, same effect, 0.2, 0.2, and uh, there we go. So we're starting to build out a video, and you can see how the clip system kind of works. We would then showcase other footage maybe in this video, show like three different clients, and then we'd have the person's John Doe's um, contact details at the end. You can also pick up clips and you can drag them around. So if you don't like the order, you can actually just pick it up and just drag it um, and it'll it'll reposition it. Uh, and there's a lot of other features that I haven't gone into as well, which is the emojis, you know, animated emojis as well. We've got the ability to drag in animated emojis. These are really cool because they'll just play um, in the background. Let's just grab one of those because it's not like this is a, um, you know, a video we're going to use necessarily. So we'll just um, go in and grab, grab some of these. Um, so we might just go like this, you know, pretty cool. Check this out, uh, and we'll put that in there. And we can see on the timer, again, it's for five seconds. It's coming in for five seconds, so it's going to be there from the very beginning. If we wanted to adjust when this fades in and fades out, we could do that if we wanted to. Uh, or if we wanted to, um, we could actually have this coming in after start. So we, if we were to do that, the clip's five seconds long. So we could just have this come in for a few seconds. And uh, you'll see now that it's within the clip, within the time, in the blue, and it's outside of the clip. Now, as we've been creating this um, here, you'll see the animated or the layers are here. What's on top is up the top. What's on the bottom is at the bottom and uh, so on. So we've got our um, three clips now in place. Uh, we've added our animated emojis. 
You could choose from a range of icons if you wanted to, we won't do that. And then when you're ready, you just click um, save and close or you can actually click publish now. The other way you can do this is you can click preview video. So if you wanted to preview the whole video before you actually go ahead and uh, do anything else, you can actually go ahead and do that right now like I'm doing here. Here you go, we're previewing the first scene. It's now switching us on to the second scene. Uh, the transition itself um, will be slightly different uh, than it will be in the final video here because we don't render the transition in that time. My portfolio, boom, we've got Northern Lights and then we have our animated emoji coming in there as well. So uh, that's a little bit of um, how this will look. Once we render it out now, it won't take too long to render it out, but it's gonna look um, really good. And that's what this basically is. It's a, a video system that allows you to create scenes really easily, removes the need for timeline editing, and uh, it's a kind of an innovative way of being able to create really great looking videos for all different types of purposes. Cool, I hope this has um, clarified how to use this software, how the system itself works. There's a lot more in this, um, but I wanted to just give you a basic overview so you can get uh, your reviews done. And um, there's also the audio effects you can actually record in here. You can use text-to-speech, and you can also select music if you wanted to, um, to use within your, your entire video as well, which is uh, available here. Cool. Uh, all right, thanks for listening. This is Sam, and I uh, hope you um, enjoy the software. Let us know if you have any questions about it. And uh, cool, I will talk to you again soon. See you later.